So how do you buy the new Toyota Tacoma? Well, there's a few ways actually. You know, I bought one recently myself and I employed one of these methods to get mine. So I thought I'd share with you guys. The first and easiest way, of course, is if you just happen to be uh, at a lot and they happen to have one for sale sitting there and you can actually just pick it up, trade your previous ride in, maybe it's a third gen, maybe it's a Ford, who knows, whatever, and drive away in that brand new Toyota Tacoma. Now, I think that's wishful thinking. You see, I tried that a few times myself, went to the dealerships, even went when they did have one, but it wasn't the one that I wanted. It wasn't the right color. Yeah, I was picky on color. And you should be too. It's your money, you're spending a lot of money, why not get what it is that you want? Color, trim, options, at least as close as you can with options anyway. The second way is to buy one used. Believe it or not, there are used 2024 Tacomas popping up on the market out there. I don't really understand why. I can't believe that anybody would have bought one, or bought one rather, and traded it in already. I mean, they haven't been out that long. What, they would have had it, what, a month or two? But, full disclosure, I have kind of done that myself before. Uh, there's been one time in the past where I had a car for three months, I hated it, and I got rid of it. So I guess, if anybody jumped on the new Tacoma right away before they knew anything about it, or maybe even committed to it before they test driven it, that they could have not liked it and traded it off at a used dealer or even at a, a new dealer and it's sitting on the used lot. Of course, your selection there is going to be a lot less because I do believe there are a lot fewer used Tacomas out there. The next way, and this is probably the best way in my opinion, we'll get to the worst way in just a second. But the best way is to go in, talk to the dealer. You have to show them that you're interested. I think if you make a phone call, unless you have a really motivated dealership, or maybe a sales guy with a lot of time on his hands, you can't just call in and do it this way. What I'm talking about is going in, sitting down with the sales guy, or maybe even the inventory manager if you can, and find out what they have coming in on allocation. What trucks are supposed to be coming in that you can actually put your name on and grab that truck. It might be the Tacoma that you're looking for. Now, you're going to have to put down some sort of a deposit probably. I would never put down anything more than 500 bucks. If a dealership wants more than that, then I would go to the next one. So anyway, make sure you put down your deposit so you can secure it and make sure you get in writing that that deposit is fully refundable for any reason. If you change your mind, if maybe a, a truck comes in at a different dealership that you went ahead and grabbed, for whatever reason, and get it in writing that you're gonna get all of that money back if you decide to not go ahead and buy that new Tacoma. And also worth mentioning, kind of picky I know, but probably should have it stated in writing while they're at it, it's just an extra line, that that $500 will go towards the purchase of that new Tacoma. I've never heard of a dealer refusing to do that, but why take the risk? Why not protect yourself and make sure that you're fully covered? If you go with an allocation, at least, you're gonna know what the options are, what the dealer may or may not add to it when it comes in, and you're gonna be able to get more likely the truck that you want. Now, speaking of options, I'll give you a little tip here. You know, a lot of dealerships are adding options. You'll see it, dealer installed options. You have a choice. You don't necessarily have to take those options. In other words, you can reduce the cost by getting rid of the fat, the things that you don't want or maybe need, like the connectivity kit, like maybe all weather floor mats, although I would highly recommend those, like maybe the spray in bed liner. Those are things that you don't need, although with that spray-in bed liner, I do think that's something that they do at the factory. I don't think that's an aftermarket or a dealer addition. Uh, the other big thing is window tent. Uh, unless you want it, I mean, you can get it for about two to $400 less than what the dealership is gonna charge you. And also paint protection. There's two different types they offer, I suppose. 
One is some sort of a film that they're gonna put across the front end, maybe in the door handle area. The only one that I really find to benefit is the door handle area, those little pieces that they put in there to stop nails from scratching your paint, particularly if your spouse likes those big honking claw nails, they will ruin your paint. So that's not a bad one to have, but I don't think most dealerships will add that by itself. I think they would want uh, want the whole package. In other words, all of the paint protection. So who knows? The other is the paint treatment. What they basically give you is a, a squeeze bottle full of gunk. It's like a pasty stuff, I think, or maybe a car wash stuff that you're supposed to or can put on the paint to renew it or protect it. That I definitely would not do. Save yourself about three or four hundred bucks, I think it is, maybe a couple hundred. Something that you definitely don't need. Those are the benefits of going with an allocated truck. Now, the last and the one that I don't recommend is to go ahead and spec one out and build it. Now, I think a lot of people believe that if you do that, you can kind of pick and choose options. Well, to some extent. You can pick and choose packages that may include the options that you want. In other words, you can't just go a la carte and say I want, I don't know, push start, but I don't want the bed liner, or I want this, but I don't want that. You don't have that choice anymore. You can't go through and pick out specific things. You have to take a whole package in order to get maybe one or two things that you want. The other problem is, is you can't be certain that what's going to come in at the dealership is actually what you order. I've heard a lot of horror stories out there about people ordering trucks, they come in and they either have those extra packages on them or they've got things that are missing, things that you wanted. The biggest one I've heard is color. Someone had ordered a truck in a specific color and when it came in, it was completely different. What are you going to do? You're going to have to start that whole process over again. And who wants to do that? If you're impatient like me, it's bad enough, really, that you have to wait at all to get a truck. So I would always do that one last. I've done it one time myself. I ordered a 2020 Voodoo Blue manual transmission. And the reason I ordered it is because I wanted Voodoo Blue and I wanted manual transmission. It took over five months, almost five months right on, a little over, to actually put my hands on that truck. The weight was excruciating. And of course, the whole time that I have it on order, I'm thinking of those bad things, like it's gonna come in with the wrong stuff on it, maybe it's gonna get canceled, maybe there's a problem, who knows. Anyway, I just wanted to get on and talk about how to buy the new Toyota Tacoma. Those are the uh, only ways that you can. As far as I know, leave a comment, let me know. Which way did you go in picking out your new Toyota Tacoma? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.